the morning this is day 22 i've been watching all these wonderful people doing these daily blogs and today is my turn and i've been asked to talk about new creation a term that's familiar to all of us and with that i have a tool here with um, a lovely man called Tom Wright who's telling me what I should be talking about. The trouble is he put it so eloquently I can't possibly follow it so I advise you to just go and watch it yourself and find out all these wonderful things that Tom Wright is saying about the new creation because it's fabulous. All I could talk about is what I know, what I believe, what I see and uh, I've been thinking about it a lot this morning because um, something happened this morning when I woke up and this phrase came into my head. Now, I know a lot of you know me to be completely cuckoo sometimes and I do claim to hear God speaking to me, <laughs> as you do. And um, this phrase came into my head and it said, there's no death in heaven, only praise and glory and I woke up and I think who, who does that who has a phrase in their head and thinks ah I wonder what that means so I go and google it and um the only thing that comes up out of it no one ever said that so I'm thinking you know maybe someone gave that to me <laughs> but no one has ever said that as far as the internet's concerned but um the the thing that phrase led me to uh revelations you can try it yourself just put it in and you keep getting revelations and it's mainly chapter five and that's what i'm supposed to be talking about today revelations chapter chapter revelations five chapter eight to fourteen um so that was kind of weird so i wanted to tell you about that but um talking about new creation and listening to tom wright it's so He's so spot on, but I, I I just can't do what he does. He, I'm not great at uh, doing videos or anything. Um, so I can only speak from my heart of what new creation is and what it means to me now. Um, and one of the things um, it stems from, obviously, is Genesis, um, when God created the universe and how marvellous that was, obviously. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think about that and it's so big, it's so big and it was so long ago, it's really hard to keep thinking about that today. But one of the things you can think about today is what's new now which is what i'm supposed to be talking about and uh, you know it's spring's coming um the lockdown is almost over god willing um and we've got daffodils growing to me that is new creation that is god casting his hand over us and saying look this is marvellous, look what I can do. And, um, you know, so therefore we can go out every day and we can see this new creation, not thinking about how he made the stars and then, uh, which is all fabulous, of course. And um, we all want to do that. We all want to look at that. <clears throat> but um, what's now? What is now? Um, one of the things I've um, uh, had the, uh, been blessed with was um during the lockdown which obviously wasn't a, a very good thing um and uh, terrible for many many people um uh, and of course for me as well but one of the things i had was the connection on the internet with all the churches in our new creation and um it was marvelous um there's people i've met who i would never have met before people from bamwell church and um you know all the lovely people there and how we've all come together and and just talk and share our feelings on the internet because we couldn't go to church and um i don't know about anyone else but i've loved it because i'm an internet person and i sit here because <clears throat> i'm a writer i sit here all day every day and i and i work with the internet so to have the church come to me 
um, in my home and being able to talk to all these people and share feelings, hopes and dreams and our problems and, and everything has been a revelation to me. And that takes you to revelations in the Bible. And chapter 8 to 14 in Revelations 5 talks about Jesus now what's happening now and one of the things <clears throat> one of the passages in there I'll read to you it says to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever and and that gives me a lot of emotion because whenever I say he's the lamb or I hear someone refer to him as the lamb I get all tearful um i don't know why i think it's because of that gentleness the lamb and jesus and that connection um but um to me that's a, a lovely passage in that revelations um book so i'm thinking for new creation we're going from this big event this creation of the universe to um, the future and the, what God and Jesus have done for us and what they're, con they're continuing to do. And in the middle of all that is what's happening today, right now. Spring is happening, daffodils are happening and we're connecting. All our churches are connecting together. We're getting to know each other via a medium that God didn't create by his own hands. It, scientists did technicians did but he talks to us through it I'm sure of it you know so many things have happened on the internet to me I, I have breakdowns on the internet not me on the internet breakdowns when I shouldn't have and and I often wonder why did that happen because it was impossible why did it happen and so I'm ranting now but I get excited about new creation I get excited because I've just joined the church in uh, Kongsbury um officially I've always been a part of it but now it's mine and um, that is my head office and in that head office we have uh, all the other churches all combined and we all talk together and we all have the same hopes and dreams and that to me is new creation thank you for listening goodbye <laughs>